Stanley Floyd not only was the number one 100 meter man in the world last year, but last week broke the world record in this event. Not only once, but twice. He broke in qualifying and in the finals. And in this field, we have the top four finishers in the U.S. Olympic trials with Floyd, Glance, Latney, and Lewis. Herschel Walker is in lane one. The distance may be a little short for Herschel. He is going to miss spring football practice. He is going to be on the track team. He's going to run outdoors. Stanley Floyd in lane three is out very quick. Walker is out, but it is Stanley Floyd. Floyd being chased by Carl Lewis, but 19-year-old Stanley Floyd dominating the indoor field this year. He certainly is, Charlie. Last year, you know, he dominated the 100 meters, but a lot of people didn't expect him to do that. So this year, he felt like he had to come back, work very hard to prove himself that he is the best. And Stanley Floyd is right out there in first place with Lewis and King and Herschel Walker. CLA, two-time NCAA finalist. In lane three, the favorite, Stanley Floyd of the University of Houston. In lane four, football star Herschel Walker of Georgia. Lane five, trying to make a comeback, Houston McTeer after an off year and lane six ron brown of arizona state walker at 6 2 and 220 an awesome sight of the starting blocks herschel just three weeks away from the sugar bowl trying to get into track shape now and we're ready to go good start floyd blitzing the field mctier coming up strong Herschel Walker and also Ron Brown. Looks like Floyd, Brown, and Walker. Frank, fantastic run by Floyd. He really ran away from the field. And it's a new world record, 5.22 for Stanley Floyd. Fantastic. Great drill for you. This is really a great deal. I was really looking for a world record tonight, but you can't predict when you're going to run a world record. And tonight was the night for me. What did it for you? The great start, you think? Yes, I got an excellent start, and although I had... So I have great body strength, and it kind of took me throughout, say, throughout the track, and I ended up winning a good time all over in the world record, and it was my body strength and my excellent start that I had. Take a look at it again and comment on it for us, if you would. Well, right here, I feel great pressure coming from the track, and my body strength right here is tremendous, and I had the perfect running angles, and everything was going well for me. Right here around, say, 40 meters out, I was really pulling away, and like I said, that's where really the body strength come in. And here I go. Well, here I go. I took the tape and a new world record. Well, you had the off year last year. Are you coming back now? Yes, Stanley Floyd is back. My hamstrings are back under me, and I'm running great again. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Well, not the kind of challenge that a champion runner like Stanley Floyd welcomes. Delmar. Test of speed between a man and a horse. The horse will be a thoroughbred racer. The man, a world record holding sprinter, Stanley Floyd. The race will begin from the track starting. The finish line is exactly 40 yards away. Stanley will run on a prefabricated plywood surface. He will stretch out from his starting position at gate number 10. The horse will run from gate 3 on his regular track. With his coach and trainer, Bill Collins, Stanley maps out his final strategy for this most unusual race. Meanwhile, the starting aid is given a final check. Once Stanley gets his starting block adjusted, he'll make a few practice starts. Stanley's at a distinct disadvantage here, since he's used to starting at the crack of a gun, not the sudden swing of a gate. This is the horse a winning thoroughbred named Bold Fiend. As soon as she's saddled and mounted, the race will begin. The jockey will be the famous Patrick Valenzuela. I don't think there's a human being that can outrun a horse. The whole full world record at the present time, the 50 meters, the 50 yards, and the 60 yards, and also the junior world record in the 100. And I'm here to defeat a horse. Bold Fiend and Valenzuela are now ready to go. Stanley Floyd, too, is all set. positions in the starting gates. Now this incredible race is now only seconds away. Horse is ready. And so is Stanley. 
family Floyd. See it at the finish line. Stanley Floyd crosses first. He wins the 40-yard dash. Here's the official photo finish shot to prove it. In slow motion, watch the start. This is where Floyd wins the race. Already he has a four-yard lead. Here the horse begins to gain. the all-important 50-yard dash. We'll find out right after this. And now, let's go back to the track to see who will win the 50-yard dash. Everything was perfect. His reaction out of the starting shoot was just incredible. He just blew the horse away for about 20 meters and kept on driving through the tape. Uh, he ran a super time, 391 unofficially. That would break any world record for 40 yards. Uh, his lift and everything was under control, good arm action. Now the big question is whether he can outrun a horse for, for 50 yards. This is going to be the real test of human speed. In the second race, Stanley will face a new opponent, a worthy thoroughbred ominously named Force. After his first victory, Stanley is completely psyched up. He has to be for a second run over a longer distance. The second race is now about to begin. Stanley takes his starting position. The thoroughbred named Force is just about ready to run. Challenge. Faced in men, the outcome left two victories. 